Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Welcome to Temple B'nai Or. If you're online or if you're in here, let's, let's turn to each other, welcome each other, introduce yourselves, wish each other Shabbat shalom. If you're online, please say hi in the chat. The, the Bima may look a little bit different tonight because I heard there's something happening tomorrow night. And I, I heard, right, Cantor? Yes. Okay. <laughs> and so this week, this week were very important days in Israel, Yom HaZikaron and Yom HaAtzmaut, the Remembrance Day for, for fallen soldiers, for those who died from acts of terror, was on Wednesday. And then if you're in Israel, Wednesday night, as soon as the sun set, we, the people went from sadness to joy, just like that. And so we'll, we won't recreate that, but before we light our Shabbat candles tonight, we want to take a second to remember, to, to commemorate Yom HaZikaron. First, with the words of Natan Alterman, a very important uh, poet, Israeli poet, who wrote these words about sacrifice. The earth grows still, the lurid sky slowly pales over smoking borders. Heart sick, but still living, a people stand by to greet the uniqueness of a miracle. Readied, they wait beneath the moon, wrapped in awesome joy before the light. A girl and boy step forward and slowly walk before the waiting nation. In work garb and heavy shod, they climb in stillness, wearing yet the dress of battle, the grime of aching day, of arid, fire-filled night. Unwashed, weary unto death, not knowing rest, but wearing youth like dewdrops in their hair, silently the two approach and stand. Are they of the quick? or of the dead. Through wandering tears, the people stare. Who are you, the silent two? And the reply, we are the silver platter upon which the Jewish state was served to you. And in speaking, fall in shadow at the nation's feet. Let the rest in Israel's chronicles be told. So this poem that the rabbi just shared is kind of well, like earlier from the beginning of Israel. Uh, we're also going to share a musical piece, and I just want to say a few pieces, a few words about it. Uh, it's called Chorus Shir Mishalosh. Right? The winter of '73, which since tomorrow is going to be a lot about um, kind of like my own my own parents' immigration story to Israel. Um, the song is actually has personal significance in our family so. because my father actually fought in the war of Yom Kippur uh, in 1973, and I was just born. I was born in 76, but I was just born, and I was a little baby, and he just was gone for a very long time of that war. And so this song was actually written in the 90s by the second generation, my generation, of the people who said, uh, we are the children of 73. You promised us that there would be peace. You promised us that there would be a better future. You gave birth to us thinking that, you know, it'll be better times so or you'll give us a better time, but we're still, we're still there. We're still in this, we're still in the situation. And the chorus, I'm not gonna translate the whole song, happy to do it later if anybody wants to deepen their uh, learning. You promised us the dove, the olive leaf. You uh, promised us shalom babayit, peace in the home. You promised us spring and uh, blooming, and you promised and you and you promised us to keep your promises. You promised us a dove. So Naomi is going to share this song with us, and as you all have heard, uh, Leah later will speak a little bit about those days, that transition, her past and her future. So we look forward to connecting all the dots between mourning and celebration. Anachnu hailatim shechore, shnat shivim ve 
ושלוש. חלמתם אותנו לראשונה עם שחר, בתום הקרבות. הייתם כבר עם היפים שהודיעו במזלם הטוב. הייתם נשים צעירות מודחות, רציתם כל כך לאהוב. וכשהייתם אותנו באהבה, בכל שבעים ושלוש, רציתם למלא בגופכם את מה שכניסה מלחמה. כשנולדנו הייתה הארץ פצועה ועצובה. הבטתם בנו, חיפרתם אותנו, ניסיתם למצוא נחמה. כשנולדנו ברחו הזקנים בעיניים דומות. אמרו הילדים האלה, הלוואי, לכו אל הצבא. היה שם נוכחות שדיברתם מכל הלב כשהבטחתם לעשות בשבילנו הכל להפוך אויב לאוהב הבטחתם יונה על אש הזית הבטחתם שלום From remembrance and sadness to joy, we call 
uh, it's our honor to call up our Rishona Leah Heller to help us bring in the light of Shabbat. Candle blessing is found on page two. Oh, It is the first Shabbat of the month where we have our Ketzev choir and where we uh, give blessings and celebrate those who are celebrating their birthdays. If you have a May birthday, please rise. I see Charlie over there has a May birthday. If you're at home and have a May birthday, you can say it in the chat. Author of life, our times are in your hand. We thank you for the blessing of life and for everything that enriches our lives. We turn to you now with special gratitude to share in the happiness of those celebrating their birthday. Be with them now and always. As they, may they be blessed with health and happiness and with the strength to overcome sickness and sorrow. As we honor them for the gifts they bring to this sacred community, we pray that each day brings them an abundance of blessing. We all say, Amen. Charlie, no. We're almost done. I already embarrassed you so much this week. That's a little bit more embarrassing. May God bless you and keep you every moment, every day. May God smile at you and fill your heart in every way. You have nothing to do with it. May God help you find the goodness in everything you do. May you be blessed with peace from above. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, Charlie. Let's, let's turn to page 24 in the Siddur for Shalom Alechem. Shalom Alechem, Alechem.
page 20.
Let's pray together on page 31. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Your wisdom sets the way on which time and season glide. Your breath guides the sail of the stars. Creator of the tide of time and light, you guide the current of day into night. As heaven spans to infinity, you set its course for eternity. Praise to you, Adonai, our God, from whom the evening flows. Amen. Page 32. Together, everlasting love. You offered your people Israel by teaching us Torah and mitzvot, laws and precepts. Therefore, Adonai, our God, when we lie down and when we rise up, we will meditate on your laws and your commandments. We will rejoice in your Torah forever. Day and night, we will reflect on them, for they are our life, and doing them lengthens our days. Never remove your love from us. Praise to you, Adonai, who loves your people, Israel. Amen. Standing on the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot, that wherever we go it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there, there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands, marching together. Watch, two, three. 
Ready? To the right. Addy, I lie, 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 לא התהילות אוסף אל חלק שני. מלכותך ראו בניך, אוקיי היה מפני משה ומרים, זה אלי ענו ואמרו, אלי ענו ואמרו. חלק ראשון, אדוני אם לא אוכלה עולם אדוני אם לא לעולם בית, חלק ראשון עוד פעם. יאי לאי 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 Page 43. <laughs> ברוך אתה אדוני הפורש סוכת שלום עלינו ועל כה עמו ישראל ועל ירושלים blessed are you אדוני guardian of Israel whose shelter of peace is spread over us over all your people Israel and over Jerusalem age 44 ששת ימים, עשה אדוני את השמיים ואת הארץ ושמרו בני ישראל 
Ambala Asotetashamane Dorbitolam. And then on the seventh day, Vayom Hashvi Shabbat Vayit Shabbat Vayida. We rise at page 46. Continue privately, page 48 through page 62. The words of our ancestors, the contemporary words, of course, the words of your heart. Well, you told me I was sleeping.
Please be seated. We pray now for our loved ones who are in need of healing. Refuat ha nefesh, refuat ha guf, refuat shleima, a healing of body, a healing of spirit. This Shabbat, we are praying for Peter Adamson, Madeline Benjamin, Larry Benson, Margot Blaustein, Claudia de Gisu, Nicholas de Gisu, Devin Kawap Fortunato, Gordon Glick, Harriet Goldstein, Lena Hammer, Oliver Horn, John Houston, Sheila Carner, Alan Nepper, Albert Kahn, Leon Curlin, Sherry Levis, Hilary Lindner, Deborah Littman, Joseph Lupkin, Lori Mazzarella, Reese Osmond, Judy Ragona, Burt Reinfleisch, Eileen Reinfleisch, Gail Rush, Deanie Schlosser, Edward Schwartz, Buddy Scott, Bernice Side, Alan Silverstein, Gilbert Simon, Glenn Switinski, Howard Teradash, Rosalind Terzi, Marjorie Van Dow, Stephen Vargas, Allison Rosenvogel, Lisa Wolfer, Edie Weinstein, Julie Weinstein, and Paul Yampolsky. If you're praying for someone, like to say their name, please do so as I go around. If you're online, you could add names to the chat. Page 259, it's a prayer, a prayer for Israel. Yom HaTzma'ut, Sha'olu, Shalom, Yerushalayim, Yishlayu, Ohabayich. Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. May those who love you prosper. Avinu Sheba Shamayim, Su Yisrael, Vago Alo, Orech et Medinat Yisrael. O Heavenly One, Protector and Redeemer of Israel, bless the state of Israel which marks the dawning of hope for all who seek peace. Shield it beneath the wings of your love. Spread over it the canopy of your peace. Send your light and truth to all who lead and advise, guiding them with your good counsel. Establish peace in the land and fullness of joy for all who dwell there. We say, Amen. Amen. We are blessed year after year for the last several years be part of a program from the Greater Metro West Federation, the, the Rishonim program, where young Israelis after high school, before they enter into the army, come to be a shaliach or shlicha, an emissary of the people of Israel here in New Jersey. Hopefully, they go back as I know they do, go back as an emissary from American Jews back to Israel and so that we can have this dialogue and, and loving relationship. This year, we are blessed to have Leah Heller as our Rishona. Our, this program is, is amazing. You can see any of our kids here who, whose eyes light up when they when they learn with Leah, also with the students at, at, uh, 
at Goddess Men RTW Academy, where she also teaches. Every year when we have a Rishon, the Rishona, they bring Israel to our kids, to our congregation, bring a, a relationship with a real person, not just an idea of Israel, not just uh, a, a place on the map, but an actual person, a person that I'm now going to invite people over to your house, that when they're, when they're in Israel, knows and loves an Israeli. Our, our program right now is, is lovingly supported by the Ingber family. And every year we help find people for our, our Rishon or Rishona to, to, uh, to stay with. And we think the Demakos family. And so it is my honor, our honor, to hear words, to learn words from our Rishona, Leah Heller. Uh, I, uh, I, I, I wanted to not just echo everything Rabbi has said about how incredible this program is and how grateful we are to have this program and how grateful we are for the Ingo family who supported it. And, um, and we're so lucky that the Gott Sagans hosted uh, in 2019, right before COVID, and, uh, and this year the Demakos um, have uh, hosted, and I'm looking forward to many more family hosting. But just a word about this specific exquisite individual. Uh, I would like to tell you that it, while this program is so prestigious and so hard to get into, it's like hundreds, if not thousands of kids who apply and they take like four or whatever. You know, there's like five in New Jersey and there's a few in every state. So it's very competitive. And every kid, almost every kid that has ever been in this program has been schooled. But this child here, who's like 18, you know, uh, has been so remarkable that uh, I just want to say a few words about how incredibly hardworking she is. Those family who hosted her said, like, we don't see her at all. She's never home. She's always working super hard, but she goes above and beyond. She has been so creative, so helpful. There's so many things that she has been at my right side, just been like, how can I help? Well, what can I do? She comes up with incredibly creative programming that she's invented and that she has gone above and beyond anything that I've, I've ever thought possible from an 18 year old. This past Sunday, we celebrated Yom Ha'atzma'ut. She had this whole school in various activities. Those of us who are here, right, right, right. It was really super fun, but she organized the whole thing. She created the whole thing, implemented the whole thing. And the rabbi's right. When the kids see her, they just want to come because she's incredible. And while we're on this topic, I also want to introduce Tamar Reshef who is uh, the head of the program on behalf of Federation. She is the Shricha. So she comes for three years-ish. Maybe she's still uh, So, and she also has worked really hard through very, very, very challenging circumstances of COVID and, and policy and all kinds of, you know, change that's happening in Federation. So we're so very lucky to have both of you. So Dasha Batgam and you and Leah. Hi, uh, I just wanted to share with you a few words about Yom Zikaron that was um, this past um, Wednesday, how it connected to me, uh, to the people of Israel. Um, I know it's something very different from Memorial Day here, uh, and I want to just give my experience um, and how it connects to this Parashat Shavua. So, love your friend, your neighbor, the other as yourself. This is a central part of this week's parasha, Parashat Kedushim. This week in Israel, my family, my friends, all stood up for a moment of silence for three minutes to honor the heroes who fell in the Israeli battles war and terror attacks, who have taken away innocent lives since Israel founding in 1948. In Israel, for these three eternal minutes, life stops. No driving, no emailing, no talking on the phone or cooking. Wherever you are at those three minutes, you stop. Um, for these three minutes, everyone stand 
Some may have lost a friend, a child, a parent, and some know someone who knows someone. But everyone stands, because on this day, we are all brothers and sisters. We all feel the loss. I don't have any relatives or someone I know personally who I honor on this day, during those three minutes of silence. As I get older, my thoughts at the tefillah, the siren, those three minutes, change. When I was a young girl, I honored big heroes, those big soldiers who looked so older than me, who I was very amazed how brave they were from the story. This year, I honor teens who are my age, who had my lifetime experience, who are waiting to fulfill themselves, to build a family, a career, love, laugh, explore the world. This year, I honor brother and sisters, whom I love and honor them as they were my own. As the Izkor says, a prayer to remember, Izkor Am Yisrael et banav ubnotav. May the people of Israel remember their sons and daughters. This perspective, perspective is based on this parashat Shavua. We all feel the loss as a community, as brothers and sisters. This idea of loving the other, your neighbor, your friend, your brother and sister um, is felt especially strong, strongly on this day. And I've never felt it as strongly as I am about to join the army myself this December. Um, Yom HaZikaron, the day of remembrance for the fallen soldiers, is beginning to feel much closer to home and to me after this year. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Do you want to talk about the story of the children? I will tell them so that they will have to do it in a democracy. Okay, both. Hold on to it. So, uh, Leah is also awesome at dancing, amongst other things. to conclude. Let's turn to page 282 
in our Sidur, please rise. Today, tonight is the 21st day, which are three weeks of the Omer, three weeks marching from the, the sea to Sinai, marching from the freedom from slavery to the true freedom of the Torah, from Pesach to Shavuot. So let us now turn to page 282. Alenu le shabach la doron hakol, la tet vidla le yotze her breshi, she lo asanu ke goye ha aratzot, ve lo hosam hanu ke mishpechot ha adama, she lo sam chelkeinu kahem, ve goor alenu ke chol hamonam, panachnu kodim, u mishachadim u modim, lifne melech malche hamlachim, hakadosh varu, of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. We think of the very recent death of Marjorie Gottsagen. If you're here to say Kaddish for a loved one, please rise when I say their name. We're in the period of Shloshim for Elliot Goldstein. This week marks the yard site, the anniversary of the death of Benjamin Barbaroche, Berna Berger, Douglas Blyman, Shirley Bloom, Eugenie Ehrlich, Lily Freed, Lorraine Futterweight, Eva Acker Golden, Henrietta Goldstein, Martin Goldstein, Max Goldstein, 
Nathan Gumminick, Veronica Hamilton, Isidore Heyman, Jeanette Horwitz, Bertha Klinger, Anita Bressler Cohen, Leah Levine, Pauline Levy, Sam Lipton, John Mirnowski, Max Margos, Sari Muller, Chester Paris, Jenny Pfeiffer, Harold Rosenberg, Florence Soledar, Elliot Steinberg, Phyllis Weisbach, and Israel Zubkoff. If you're here to say Kaddish for a loved one whose name is not mentioned, please do so as I go around. If you're remembering someone, if you're online, please you can add their names to the chat. And we, this week of Yom HaZikaron, Yom HaTzma'ut, we think of three Israelis who were ki killed in a terror attack in the city of El Ad just the other day, Oren Yiftach, Yonatan Habakuk, and Boaz Gold. Zichanam Livracha, may their memories be for blessing. We also extend our condolences to Mark and Nadine for the loss of Nadine's mother today. Thank you. Thank you. The Mourner's Kaddish is on page 294. Please rise. Yitkadal v'yitkadash me rabba v'yama divrach hirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayachon v'yomechon v'chayei v'chol beit Yisrael Ba'agala Ubizman Kari Vimru Amen. Yehe Shme Rabba Mevarach Velam Ame Amaya Yit Barach Yishtabach Yit Par Vit Romam Vit Nase Yit Hadar Vit Ale Vit Halal Shme de Kudusha Rihu Ve Elam in Kobir Hata Vishirata Tush Pahata Venechemata Da Miran Ve Alma Vimru Amen. Yehe Shlama Rabba Min Shamaya, Bahayim Alenu Vyako Yisrael, Vimru Amen. Ose Shalom Bim Romav, Uya Se Shalom Alenu Vyako Yisrael, Vimru Amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us, to all Israel, to all of the world to which we say Amen.
להקשיב לך בתוכנו, היא נוהגה כל מי שסביבנו, תבוא הברכה, תבנה כהילה, בשבילי, עם אבני, עם אבני הפינה, יחזקו את עתיד ילדינו, עם הלב הקליטה. service every month. Our Kiddush is on page five. Let's, let's have you and all of you. You don't need to bind us. Come, come give us blessings. Everybody come around. Hannah, mommy. Boy, boy, boy. Boy. You know the Kiddush, right? Boy, you know. Thank you. Everybody. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.
athlete. Please join us in the Oreskes Social Hall. I hope to see you. I hope to see you tomorrow and every week at, at the Temple B'nai or Shabbat Shalom. Hi, Ethan. Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom to all. Hi, Carolyn. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Have a, have a good night. We'll see you soon. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Hi, Carolyn. Oh, hi, Mark. Oh, you got a couple of handsome-looking grandchildren. There. I know they were. They did good today. Oh my goodness, were they looking sharp? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't get. I mean, even dances. <laughs> so so grown up and so good looking. <laughs> mm hmm. Mm hmm. My goodness. How are you guys doing? Everybody well? Yeah, so far so good. <laughs> How about yeah. you guys? Yeah, fine. Yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah, we're well. It's been I... raining for days. <laughs> yeah, well, we've had a lot of rain. So far, we haven't had much summer either. It's cool. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. temperatures are pretty cool here. Uh-huh, yeah. I mean, nothing freezing or anything, but cool. We had to turn the heat back on. It got cold. Yeah, yeah. At night, it goes on a bit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Where's Bonnie? I thought she was on for a while. She was on for a while, but I think the sound was bad, so she yeah. really got yeah. probably... Uh, uh, yeah, probably trouble. bothered her. Yeah, yeah. I think one of the microphones was defective and that was making that oh. crackling sound yeah i don't know they said yeah. that they had to um yeah i don't know they're having a big event tomorrow night so they had to rewire everything they yeah. said there were some chats that they were saying yeah yeah well obviously we don't have that problem because we're talking through zoom i know oh, yeah it's, i guess so yeah yeah it's one of their microphones that uh yeah was probably causing the problem yeah i guess so yeah it looks like they're up there working on it now yeah um wh wh what you gotta do guys is turn off each microphone and then i don't think they can eat. hear you oh and see which one well what what you do really is turn them all off then turn on one at a time yeah and then um, you can tell which one is doing the crackling sound yeah and you eliminate that one right. <laughs> okay well, tell, okay. tell them if you get a chance <laughs> yeah <laughs> well there there must be the sound man right there oh no yeah. he's taking out the candles oh he blew them out not supposed to do that all right well, that's about it for now. Yeah. Oh, turning off the lights. All right. <laughs> uh, well, we we don't really depend on their light. We have our own light. <laughs> yeah. well, Anyways, um, have a wonderful weekend. Nice you to see too. you. We'll see you next week. Say hi yeah. to Bonnie. Okay. I will. Say hello to Larry. Yeah, yeah I will. All righty. Bye-bye. Hello. Testing. One, two, three. Oh. Testing. I am. I
Okay, so now I'm going to pretend to be the cantor. Now I'm pretending to be cantor. Okay. No. Okay, so cantor is going to sing. They're static. All right, so they're static there. Hello, hello, hello. How is it? Is that staticky also? Oh, uh, yeah, it's static. It's staticky also. We have, are we going to have a very challenging day tomorrow? We're going to have a very challenging day. All right. Um, ben, we're going to try something else. Okay, what about now? Is it still staticky? Yeah. Still staticky. All right. First off, like on doable. Like I can still make a loop thing. What about when I talk through this? Is that staticky? Yeah. It's staticky. Yeah. What about this one? Is that staticky too? Yeah. Is it staticky too? That's a different one. That's staticky too.
Pat, when you listen to this, is that very static too? Yeah, that's very Test one, two, three. Is it on? It's on. Hello. <coughs> Is it staticky? Hello. Test one, two, three. Yeah. Test, test. 